Hello everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem, Lady Dawn. In the last episode, we defeated Dragon King Degencia to move onward to fight against Ashura. Now we are moving on to Rebirth Part 4. Oh goddess, will you please stop? Is this not enough? Your sister regrets all she has done. If you look closely at any of Yune's actions and their unintended consequences, you will see they were all born of fear. Fear that you would expunge her from yourself. If you would but allow her back within you, this would surely never happen again. Yune is chaos. She is a better affection. Chaos completely. 
Your name must not exist. My decision has not changed. In that case, goddess, would you consider an alternative to such drastic measures? We shall use the power of same magic to seal Yume in this medallion. Someday, and it may be in the far distant future. Someday we may be able to earn your trust, goddess. In the hope of that day arriving, refrain from annihilating Yune. Please. In my eyes, imprisoning Yune and destroying her are the same thing. If the chaos and disaster that you name begins can be averted, I have no objection. I do not know, however, if you name will submit to such confinement. Goddess you name, please hear me. I will never give up. Someday I will see you restored to yourself. Please. Do not look so sad. I will always be with you. I will sing to you. You will not be lonely. I promise. They're getting stronger and stronger. Whose memories are those? I know him. Everyone, Asher is nearby. Just beyond those doors. That's where we'll find her. We made it. Finally. You should know. Asher may have changed since before her slumber. Order and chaos are meant to naturally balance each other out. If you take away one, balance is lost. I don't expect Asher to have the merest shred of compassion. Talking to her will likely do no good. We don't have much choice. If talking won't work, then we'll have to use force. Otherwise, this has all been for nothing. How about you? What do you mean? Are you completely chaotic? Chaotic? Are you out of balance? As far as I can tell, you don't seem to lean too far in either direction. Asher and I see things a little differently. During my long sleep, I was wrapped in sweet, gentle music. Heron Galdar? Yes, but more important than the song itself, I was never alone. There was always something, someone singing, singing to comfort me. Asher shouldn't have isolated herself. She just became lonely and bitter and lost her touch with people. Hold on, this thing will budge. What's wrong with it? The doors cannot be opened. Hey, look who it is. They have been sealed with powerful magic. Sephirin, you're all right. I'm so relieved to see you. I'm so relieved to have been a cause for concern, Apostle. Forgive me. Sephirin, there's something I need to tell you. I'm not the true Apostle. I didn't mean to abuse your trust. I've known that for some time, Sonaki. Don't forget that I was almost a father to you. It honestly doesn't make a difference to me whether you, or not you can hear the goddess. Sephirin, thank you for always having been there for me. Empress, shouldn't you tell him about General Zelgius? Yes, I suppose I should. Sephirin, Zelgius is dead. I know you put a lot of trust in him, but he was also closely allied to Dan. I'm sure you've heard of Dan's so-called Black Knight. Sephirin, the Black Knight was Zelgius. But that's all probably not news to you, is it? After all, he was taking orders from you. What? I- what are you saying? A man like Zelgius could never serve in conflicting interest. Never. Everything he did, he did for one master. Isn't that so, Sephirin? I think I understand. You wanted to monitor the events within Dayan. You sent Zelgius as a spy. Precisely. I felt it important to observe King Ashnort carefully. That was my goal. At the time, it was relatively easy to get an outsider close to the king. Ashnort was famous for employing powerful men with no regard for their background or social status. Obviously, he would, need, he would have needed no convincing once he saw the blade work of General Zelgius. The Black Knight tried to take the medallion from my father and killed him. Tell me, Sephirin, whose plan was that? Ashnard's or yours? Calm down, Ike. Sephirin, would you please explain? 
Sir Ike, I'm afraid your father's death was an unfortunate result of Zelgius' own personal agenda. I did not order Sir Gawain killed. However, I must admit that I did ask him to seize the medallion and hand it over to King Ashnard. The goddess was to be freed, and all living creatures destroyed. Come again? You're insane! I couldn't have been more sane, Sir Ike. Attend and learn. My aim has always been to wake Asherah so that she might pass judgment on all the people of the world. What I needed was a war that would spread across the continent. How could I achieve this? My attention turned to the young Dane prince. I could use that fiery Ashnar for my purposes. He was ambitious, a fierce warrior, and more than anything, he had the earnest desire to change the world. When I allowed him to know of the goddess sealed within the medallion, he became determined to set her free. We could use the Heron Galdor or a massive continent spinning war to throw the world into chaos. Lord Sephron, what are you saying? Are you saying you wanted this? You can't be serious. Sonicky, my life has shown me that the people of this world only deserve destruction. The selfishness, the brutality, the disregard for others, the endlessly quarreling of the Lagoos and Burek. We have been given many chances to correct our behavior in ourselves, and we have scorned them all. The only remaining hope is for a peaceful world is for Ashford to wipe us all out again and begin anew. Okay, I'm just butchering all of these sentences. This is some kind of monstrous joke. So you've been pulling the strings all along. Correct. Beyond what, beyond just Empress Sonicky, you were trusted by a lot of people. Sephron, I need to understand. Did you really betray all of those people? I did. I don't get it. Why would you wait the goddess to pass judgment on us? Tell us why. How could you get? How could you want that? It wouldn't make any difference if I told you. You would have to live a few centuries before you could understand. Years ago, my father went behind to hiding with the medallion. At the time, he got help from both you and Zelgius. Does this have anything to do with that? Hmm, you seem to have sparked a visit memory of mine. Answer me! Why did you do this? I'm sorry, I can't tell you. At least, not in any way that you would understand. Then I'll have to make you talk. This can't be happening! I won't fight you, Sephiroth! I can't! Poor Sonagi. You have no choice but to fight. The doors leading to Ashur are sealed by my very own magic. Killing me is your only way through. Sephirin! So it was you. All those memories penetrating my mind were yours. Since we entered this place, I think I've seen what you've been thinking, Miron. Give it up. Goddess Yune, why do you insist on calling me that name? I discarded it long ago, Yune. I've changed. Miron is a thing of the past. All I want now is the end of all that is. Please don't stop me. Miron... You're running out of time. At this rate, I wouldn't count on being able to face the goddess. I would hate to see you denied after coming all this way. Well, now you know who brought you here, and why. I suppose that just leaves our fight to the death to take care of.